Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of draggable menu, which is being made by forum user Kivanti. And what this glorious little piece of work is looking to add into the game is, well, as is so often the case, it's right there in the name, and that is draggable menus. Along with, though, the lovely feature that makes contextual menus not go off the screen, thus keeping them visible, and I absolutely love these features as the menus going off the screen and their static nature has been a major complaint of mine for this game for some time. So let's just start off by jumping into the VAB and showing you how this all works. So let us grab the Mark 1-2 command pod and first mention that the menu I'm talking about is of course the right-click contextual menu here, which if you're playing vanilla probably isn't much of an issue, but if you have a part that's, uh, say, towards the back of your ship that you're trying to get uh, the menu visible for you, or if you, like me, play with a lot of mods, you may have very long menus that will happen to go off the bottom of the screen, thus making part of that menu completely invisible to you, so you cannot see what it has, and equally cannot push any buttons that you desire to push on them, and you end up having to fiddle around with the camera, and zooming in and zooming out and angling things to try and get yourself into just the right spot to see that darn menu, because they are attached to this one singular point on the part, and it's so damn annoying. So let's first talk about the menu going off the screen. Now, thanks to this mod, that is no longer a problem. If I actually scroll up, if I scroll up anymore, normally in the game, the menu would go off the bottom of the screen, and again, be not visible to you. But now, if I scroll up, you can see that the menu does actually move with the bottom of the screen, and that, makes me so very happy. And if I do right click to turn that off and right click again on this part, again, normally that menu would be going off the screen because it doesn't have enough room to show at this part of the screen right here. But if we right click now, you'll see the bottom of this menu is at the bottom of the visible limit of the screen so that none of it is going off and it is all very, very visible to you. And that makes me so happy, especially again, if you have a much longer menu. I sometimes with mods have menus that are, you know, from the bottom of the screen to like right up here and they will all pop up so that they are all completely visible to you. And that, that it just makes life so much easier. Now, it doesn't work forever. If I continue to scroll up, you'll see that the menu does go away, and it will not return until we scroll back down, and you can see the menu moving with us again. Or, of course, if we make it go away and then look at it again from a different angle, it will return. And we'll always sort of work with the screen until the part is mostly not visible anymore. So if more than about half of the part is visible, the screen, or the menu rather, will show up completely here. But if less than half of the part is visible, then it goes away. So that is something to just keep in mind. It's not perfect, it won't be there forever, but that's where the next part of this mod comes in, because remember, it is called draggable menu. So if you don't want the menu to go off or go away when you leave that part of the screen, I can just hold down the Alt key, click it, and drag. Left click, of course, and drag it away. And there we go. That menu is now permanently here, fixed to this part of the screen. So we can zoom up, we can zoom down, we can go around and around, and it just stays right in its spot until we right click again outside of that menu. And it will just stay there and live happily in this position wherever you put it until you're done with it and again, right click. Now there is a limitation to that as well. Here in the VAB, if say we grab another one of these Mark 1-2s and I right click, hold Alt, left click and drag over to here, again, we have that menu there. But if I try to do the same with this other Mark 1 command pod, 
it goes away and goes to this menu. While you're in the VAB, you can only drag one menu around. Now that is only for here in the VAB. If we leave this horrible place of only having one open menu and go out into, say, a really crappy little space station that I built earlier in orbit, I can show off the fact that, uh, <laughs> yeah, when you're in flight, you can have all the menus you want and it is so, so very useful. Let's put that thing to prograde. There we go. And actually turn this down so we have more vis visible screen space. And let's just uh, say perhaps you want to always make sure that the ore container is full, but you don't necessarily want to have this thing pinned up here. You can, again, Hold down Alt, left click and drag, and that now has that menu there, so we can see exactly how much ore we have, and if we so desire, we can jettison the tanks. And then of course, if we want to make sure that we also have our fuel cell open, so that if we're running low on electrical charge, we can just hit this button at any moment to fill our batteries. And then, of course, if we also want to have this uh, Convertotron open, we can just put that there. And again, whenever we need to use its buttons, we can just use it. And that, that is so very wonderful. <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's something that I, quite frankly, never thought I wanted. I've always wanted to be able to move around these menus, but I never knew how useful having multiple menus open at once could be until now. As well, in even the base game, we do still now have supply chains. We mine ore, we store ore, we then convert said ore into fuel and or electrical charge, which means you have multiple operations that you either need to set to hotkeys, which can get convoluted if you have far too many, or you have to individually click things as you go along. But now with this mod, I can actually lay out my menus in my supply chain. So we start with, uh, say we had a drill, we could have the drill menu here, then the ore tank to show how much ore we have, then the fuel cell array here, so again, we can charge whenever we need, and then the convertotron to make sure that we have more monopropellant, which I actually do need to make. My space station here is running out. And you can keep all of these menus up and click the different options that you need when you need them without having to fiddle around with the individual parts. And that that just saves time and is so, so very darn useful that again, I, I didn't, I can't imagine not using this anymore. It's just, it's that useful in the game. And if you have mods installed that add more supply chain features, it just makes it even more useful because you can have more menus open to make sure things happen when they need to. Granted, it could potentially make the screen a bit more cluttered, say for instance, if I grab that out and then say that battery there and uh, the command pod as well. Oh, what the heck, we'll grab the engine too. Yeah, the, the screen can start to get a bit cluttered. That is uh, <laughs> something you can't really contest. But still, if you only have certain menus open that are, mm, shall we say, useful to you at the time, it can be a very, very good thing. Now, as to some of the problems. First off, if I'm dragging these menus around, do not cross them with another menu, because this will happen. It'll pick up the other menu, <laughs> and it'll pick up multiple menus. See, look at that, we're picking them all up. <laughs> It's uh, it's kind of a weird thing that happens, but yes, if you want to move these things around, you need to make sure that you move them away from others and that they don't intersect, or else, yeah, you'll have just mods picking up, or not mods, but menus picking up other menus, and it'll be just very bad very quickly. Now, another problem that I have is, remember when we were in the VAB and we got rid of that menu by right-clicking? Yeah, the same thing will happen if I right-click. Boom, there they all go, all of them, which can be a pain. What if I still want the Convertotron up and the monopropellant tank for some reason, uh, but I didn't want this fuel tank here? I cannot individually turn this one off. If I right click, they all go off. So there is no way at the moment, I don't know if this is something that can be fixed. I'm hoping it can be, but for the time being, if you want to turn one off, too bad, you have to turn them 
all off, which is a uh, kind of an annoying thing, but overall the usefulness of this mod, in my opinion, outweighs any slight downside to that particular element of it. Uh, other than that, I can't really think of any problems. Oh, actually, if I do turn these all off, there is one other thing. Now, remember what I said earlier. If we, uh, you know, move this to the bottom of the screen, it will, you know, move with the bottom of the screen. That is not the case with the top of the screen or the side of the screen. If we go to the top, as you can see, the menu does go off still, so it only seems to work with the bottom, which makes sense because, remember, uh, that's probably where it's going to go off the screen most often, so it is still very useful, but it would be cool to see it work the same on the top of the screen as well as the sides, too. Let's see, yeah, there we go. So on the side of the screen, you can see it disappears. So that is something just to keep in mind. Again, maybe that'll change in the future. Who knows? But for the time being, that is a limitation. Other than that, the thing's just useful as heck. I absolutely am in love with this and cannot see myself not having this installed on my game anymore. So, uh, yes, if you'd like to try this out for yourself, and I definitely would suggest that you go and do that, you can check out the link in the description as always. And, of course, I do hope that you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching. And, as always, don't cross your menus. <laughs> Later, folks.